Hello everybody, Sean here, and we are looking at the Skeleton Lords, bosses in Dark Souls 2, although they are quite easy, so maybe bosses isn't the correct term. Going into the fight, you will notice that they are on bone thrones, and they have to stand up before they actually begin uh, engaging you in the battle. So what you can do is, if you have a lot of stamina, is just run up to them while they're sta or getting up, and start smacking them. You can get a little extra damage in. If you have a powerful enough weapon, you might even just outright kill one of them before they can completely uh, get off the throne and start engaging you. But, if that is not the case, you will have three skeleton lords start chasing you around the battle arena. Two of them are melee, going to use sights. The third one is going to cast magic at you. Uh, you can block all the melee attacks, no problem. 100% uh, block shield will have no issues with that. The magic, obviously, you can't really block that well. At this point in the game, it's very unlikely you have a fire-blocking shield. So, you can block it with your normal shield, but you're still going to take some hits. The better option is just to dodge out of the way. The fireballs don't have a huge AoE, so you can just roll away from them pretty easily. So what you want to do is kill one of the bosses. Uh, obviously, there's three of them, but uh, if you kill one, there's no reviving mechanic or anything, so just pick one, whichever one you want. Probably the mage is going to be the easiest. He has the lowest health, and because he's always standing away from his friends, uh, he will be easier to pick off. Once one of them dies, as you've already seen, uh, they go down and then a bunch of little skeletons come up. The first time you kill one, it's going to be a bunch of pinwheels. Now, you haven't seen those before in Dark Souls 2, but other Dark Souls games, they have been pretty common, and the pinwheels act very similar to Sonic the Hedgehog in that they come out of the ground, they look at you, they start spinning up, and then they roll towards you very quickly. You can block this attack with your shield, but it's going to take a ton of stamina because it's a multi-hit attack, so your best option is to dodge out of the way. Now the only issue with that is that because there's so many of these pinwheels, you're still going to have to either dodge quite a bit or just be pretty lucky that one of them does not hit you mid-dodge. So what you can do to help alleviate this is, as soon as you kill the first boss and he goes down, the skeletons will start coming up. You can actually hit them while they're forming and kill one or two of the pinwheels before they've even formed so that they don't even become a threat at all. That's the easiest way to deal with them. Then you've only got about two more to deal with in their actual final form, and it's much simpler that way. Once you kill the pinwheels, you can take down the last two bosses. Again, when you kill the second one, he will summon more minions, but it's very easy to do. And then, when you kill those minions, you kill the third boss. More minions will come up, but again, it's just going to be simple skeletons. You'll be able to kill them, no problem. If you're a melee character, you could basically just do what you've seen in the video. Again, there's no real threat to a melee character. If you're a mage, hopefully you have pyromancy, it'll make the fight easier. Otherwise, just use general soul magic. You will get through fine and just a basic sword and shield. I hope this helps, gives you some tips. I thank you for watching, and we'll see everyone next time.